really disappointed in the Inflation Reduction Act, uh, the reconciliation bill. You know, we've been fighting for a long time with these massive packages that they just include agriculture, they include the farmers. You know, our farmers are dealing with out of control fertilizer prices. Nothing like that was addressed in any of these packages. Farmers continue to be left out. I'm up there raising the red flag saying, absolutely not. We need to include our farmers in these large spending packages, but there was no, no, nothing in there to be found to help our farmers. I'm disappointed. So we're still recovering right. from Laura, Delta, Ida, and WIP Plus is a program that's really helped out a lot of our farmers and ranchers. What, what message do you have for our farmers? Right, if you are affected by Laura, Delta, or Ida, right now is the time to apply for WIP Plus. Reach out to your local FSA uh, office and they can get you in touch and, and walk you through the process of how to do that. But if you need any help from our office, we are also here to help walk you through that process. But right now is the time to act if you were affected by those storms. You know, I'm hearing from a lot of my farmers all across the 5th District. They're concerned and I'm here today at the Farm Bureau to talk to Jim Harper and see what the next steps are, how I can best come in and help serve the farmers in my community because there is a lot of chatter, there is a lot of concern about these torrential rains that we've had, just that heavy downpour that just doesn't seem to stop right in the middle of harvest season. So I, if, I know if they're concerned, I need to be just as concerned and do everything that I can on a federal level to help them. It's been the absolute honor of a lifetime to serve the 5th District. You know, these, this last year and a half have been a whirlwind to say the least. But I have to tell you, as I travel all 24 parishes and I listen to my farmers, agriculture is the backbone of the 5th. They have been so gracious to me, so warm, so inviting me, teaching me about the industry and how I can be the best representative I can possibly be. And now that we've been able to parlay that into an appropriation seat on the subcommittee of agriculture, I feel like I can take that representation to a whole other level. And so it would be an absolute honor to continue the people of the 5th District if they'll have me in November. It would be the honor of a lifetime to continue to serve them.